Hello and welcome to the phase modulation tutorial. Uh, phase modulation is a very similar effect to frequency modulation, and so much so that a lot of things that are normally thought of as being uh, frequency modulation, such as the Yamaha DX7 and I think Ableton's operator, are actually implemented using phase modulation. Unfortunately, none of the modules in Reactor Primary uh, support phase modulation, uh, not to my knowledge anyway. So I'm going to start out today by creating a new uh, sine oscillator out of primary modules uh, that can support phase modulation. So let's get started on that. To begin, I'm going to create a uh, primary sine oscillator that I can use to test what I build against to make sure that we're doing it right and that everything sounds okay. And then I'll just uh, use a switch to choose which one is active um, so we can check them against each other. <clears throat> Alright, and so each of these is going to receive both uh, a note pitch and an amplitude and uh, for now I'm just going to supply the amplitude with a gate, a MIDI gate, which doesn't sound the greatest but we just need to do a basic sound test so we don't need to do anything too complicated quite yet. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to use a ramp module um, kind of as a phase accumulator here. And this is just going to uh, hold the position of where we are in the cycle of uh, our oscillation, our sine oscillator. So we're going to use an exponential module to translate the pitch to a frequency and keep the amplitude at 1. And I'm going to use uh, another MIDI gate here to sync to so that it will restart at zero uh, every time it receives a new MIDI note. And then all we need to do is um, run the output of that into a math sign module and uh, multiply the output of that times the amplitude input and we have a functioning replica of the primary sign module, um, which takes up a substantially more CPU, but eventually it'll have some more uh, power as well, so it'll be worth it. <clears throat> Let's just check that the sound is right here for a second. Okay, so those sound the same. Now let's add some phase modulation to our oscillator. Um, the only thing we need to do for that is to add the output of the ramp oscillator um, against another input, which uh, we'll name phase mod or PHM. And um, so we'll add those together, and then we will modulo the sum of that by one. And what that's going to do is um, strip the integer value off of the addition. So if that value goes above or below um, 1, uh, sorry, above 1 or below 0, then it'll simply strip off the integer part and leave us with the decimal remainder. Um, so that'll give us a value from 0 to 1, which is identical to uh, what the output of the ramp oscillator was giving us before, only now it's going to have uh, this additional phase mod added to it. Um, so let's just check to see we didn't break anything with the sound here. Okay, so let's supply the phase mod input um, with signal. Okay, so that sounds pretty interesting. Now let's use this to create a uh, simple synthesizer. We'll start out by getting rid of the unnecessary uh, primary sign oscillator. <coughs> and um, 
let's create a uh, ADSR envelope um, so we can get rid of this gate as our amplitude um, so this doesn't really sound very good creates lots of clicks and we can create controls for the uh, attack to case sustain release and run it into the run the envelope into the amplitude input of our oscillator now let's make our oscillator uh, visible again and uh, we're going to create a few controls to give it a little bit more uh, functionality and to start out um, let's add a pitch knob so we can uh, control the pitch and we'll give that a range of negative 24 to 24 but <clears throat> you can use whatever you want of course And the other thing I'd like to create is a knob to control the depth of the phase mod, uh, which we can use to boost the phase mod um, to amplify it above and beyond where it would normally be, or to keep it very small. And we'll just use a mix uh, amp mixer for that. And again, I'm going to change the range of this uh, to give it a max of 24, just to allow us to get some more gritty effects out of it. Just rearrange everything here for a second. And of course we just created a bunch of controls, so when we return to the panel, uh, it's a mess. So I'll just rearrange that really quick as well. And let's uh, rename this knob so it has a more accurate name for its function. And so this is still just a sine oscillator. Oh, now we got to change the step size of the pitch one as well. This is just a basic uh, sine oscillator right now, but as soon as we supply an input to the phase, the phase mod, it'll be a lot more exciting. We can just duplicate our oscillator to do that. <coughs> Well, very simple. And then just run the output of the new one into the phase mod of the old one. Okay, so that sounds a little more interesting. Um, and just to finish up here, I just want to point out that you can chain these together uh, as many times as you like. Just duplicate the second one here and run the output of the third one into the phase mod input of the second one. And you got a whole other sound to work with. <clears throat> so there really is a lot of a lot of room for growth here. And ideally, each one of these would have its own uh, envelope as well. Alright, that's all I got time for today. Hope you guys had fun.